you know, I think John and Amy and everybody's touched on, you know, just the condolences that we want to send to the Reese family and obviously, you know, his loved ones. He was uh, somebody that when, you, when you're able to work uh, after you get done coaching or in, in the front office, if you're able to stay and be beloved, you know, in the town that you worked at, that's pretty unusual. You know, normally they run you out of town. So he was clearly um, loved and, you know, my best to, um, you know, Jared and the, the people that he worked with on the radio. So we'll, we'll uh, start off with some questions. What was uh, the thinking behind rotating the quarterbacks and how it work out? Well, I think that, you know, those guys have to go in there at short notice. They also, you know, don't get it to be, have the luxury of get into the flow of the game. Uh, but also just keeping it consistent with maybe who was in there at the game. So there was a certain group of you know, receivers and linemen and that you could evaluate them based on who they had in the game that was similar. It's really nice to be able to see the things that you emphasize and that you coach come through. Uh, and those guys are taking it to heart and they're excited about it. You know, you tip passes. Um, get intercepted. You know, they, they help us out sometimes with, with a tip or a drop, but I, our guys are challenging. Um, and, um, you know, it's really, it's really cool to see the stuff that we emphasize and work on uh, carry over into the game. Elijah Moore was really active today. Was that kind of the way you were blitzing them and just playing them all over? Is that kind of what you guys envisioned? Yeah, I think, I think that that's something that, that John and I had envisioned <clears throat> with the defensive staff. You know, when he came out of Washington and, you know, it's just, it's been able to be in there pretty consistently for the last week and, and compete. And, uh, you know, it hasn't been perfect, but, you know, it was really cool to see him go out there and, and do some nice things and blitz and, and a cover. And, you know, one of his plays led to a, to an interception, you know, a big interception. So executing the things that we've been coaching him to do on that situation on third down. Well, I mean, we asked our players that weren't playing in the game to they had two choices, put their uniform on and go out and, and support their teammates or stay in the locker room. And it really didn't matter to me either one, whichever one they wanted to do. Um, but you could see that, that they had energy and they were excited for those guys that, that were making plays. And, you know, they're just competitive. I mean, that's a reflection of our, our team and our organization and the type of people that we have that, you know, that late in a fourth quarter of a preseason game, when guys are battling and competing, you know, that's important to me. How much uh, progress has Caleb made recently? What's it mean to get him out there today? Well, it's a next step. It's, you know, with the return to play that, you know, we had talked about with adding reps to practice. Uh, and then the next, you know, he, he came through pretty good, um, you know, through the practices health-wise, which allowed him to uh, be available for the game. I think we tried to get him, you know, close to 16 snaps. You know, we'll take a look at it, and, and again, you know, he hasn't played football in, in, in quite a bit of time, and it's going to be a process. But I think it was a good step just to get him out there and, you know, just show him you know, what the game feels like and how the situations change. And so we'll just coach him up and then keep moving forward. You know, I don't. You know, I think that they handled it well. I think that there were some, you know, there's always going to be plays you like to have back, whether it's reads or checks or throws. But, you know, I thought they both um, capitalized on the, you know, the, the, the situations that the defense put them in. You know, we had some drive stall there, um, some too many negative yardage runs early on that, that put us behind. But, you know, we did capitalize on, on some of the sudden change uh, and the turnovers. Well, he continues to work and compete, and you know I think you know we were probably a little disappointed, and so was he on on one of the blocks, and then he came back, and you know I felt like put his body on on a safety, and, and really tried to to play physical, and then you know the touchdown, you know he did a nice job of selling it, and it was a great pocket, and, and Logan gave him a good ball. Uh, I I don't know. I think that that we just wait and see how 
it turns out on, on Monday and how it looks and see where, you know, hopefully he continues to gain confidence and uh, getting out here and, and competing at this level. Uh, you know, I think that's all part of what we try to do is see how much guys can handle, and, and a lot of that is out of necessity. You know, we're losing bodies left and right, and so put put him in there, and he's able to to function and know what to do. Look at the tape and see how he did, but you know, a lot of that in these preseason games is out of necessity. Yeah, really. Um, these guys are competitive. They know what to do. They're ready for their opportunities. They've earned the right to be in there. Um, you know, quarterbacks go to the guys they trust. And, you know, again, Mason's been really consistent for us. And then Makai has done well on special teams, finding a role on a kickoff coverage unit. Uh, and, and then he's, he's ran hard. He's ran hard when given the opportunity. <coughs> Unavailable. Whatever we said the other day, however I phrased that, same thing for Merch and, and the rest of the guys that didn't play.